For the past few years, I've been trying to decode the art of accomplishing your goals. I have managed to accomplish a couple of my personal goals. Um, I had a health goal. I wanted to lower my blood pressure and my A1C blood sugar. I accomplished that goal. I had a mindfulness goal. I wanted to meditate for 40 days in a row. I accomplished that goal. But there were certain long-term goals that seemed to elude me. I wanted to play live shows again. I wanted to perform in front of an audience and to feel that energy in the room and connect with people. Odd time to be identifying that as a goal, but just roll with me. Now I've been in plenty of bands, but I've never put together an act that was entirely based on music that I had written, even though it's literally been a lifelong goal of mine from the earliest age I can remember. I've carried this goal with me for so long, I've literally transferred it from notebooks to bullet journals to to-do apps to any number of productivity apps that I've migrated through over the years. I've gone through the exercise of breaking it down into specific, measurable, and actionable steps. But I would always seem to get stuck on the action part. One evening I had a conversation with a musician who seemed to have it all together and seemed to be accomplishing everything that she wanted. And when I described my situation and my goals with music, she was emphatic in sharing this one piece of advice. She said, if you want to accomplish something, you have to make a commitment outside yourself. Now, I've known for years that you've got to have a deadline, and I even have an app that sets a deadline and reminds you of when the deadline is, and I didn't really do much. I don't even know what's, what's on it right now. Yeah, that didn't happen. <laughs> but when I think about the two goals I was able to accomplish, for the health goal, I had already set up an appointment for my physical, so I had a date that I was already marching to. And for the meditation goal, I had set up coffee with the friend who actually recommended the 40-day meditation to begin with. So when I think about the phrase, making a commitment outside the self, it's actually involving other people who are affected by whether or not you can achieve or not achieve your goal. And I'm not sure if that's why I was able to do it, but I think maybe it was. So what about this gig then? One idea I've heard musicians do is to book their gigs before they're even ready for them. Or even before the music's written. Directly behind me is Rockwood Music Hall. It's my favorite place to go hear live music in New York. They've got three rooms. There's a new act every hour. I've heard a lot of great music in that room, and I always leave inspired. Not to mention that it's neighbor to some of the best fried chicken in the city. There's only one problem with booking a gig.
that's why I'm announcing that I have booked my own gig in my living room and I will be hosting a live stream on July 5th with original music, some of it written, some of it not. But in the weeks leading up to it, I'm gonna be showing my preparation process and my writing process and finishing the songs and getting them ready for performance. So I hope you can join me and I hope it's not a complete disaster. You did good. Yeah, you need a bath. Mm.